Well, good morning and welcome to our 915 Kids and Family service, especially on this Father's Day. So I'm Jo and I'm the vicar of St Andrews. All the liturgy will be on a screen and this is the second to last online service. Next week will be the last one. So see what love the Father has given us that we should be called the children of God. As we start our time of worship together, let us remind ourselves how good our Father God is. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. And so at this point, as we remember fathers, as we remember father figures to us, let us spend a few moments thinking and being thankful for them. And so we're going to do that in the 30 seconds. What things can we thank God for? Three, two, one, go. So hopefully you will have been able to have thought of things that you are thankful for your fathers, your uncles, those close to you who act as father figures to you. And so we're going to pray for them now. Heavenly Father, bless all fathers as they care for families. Bless all father figures who also set us examples and care for us. Give them strength and wisdom, tenderness and patience. Support them in the work that you call them to do and protect those who look after them as we look to you for love and salvation through Jesus Christ, our rock and defender. Amen. And so, so now we're going to turn towards God and we've got the refrain today of Father God, I'm sorry. So Father God, I'm sorry. And we're going to do the action of Father. Okay. So we're going to turn back to God and say sorry. So let's make a fist. Lord, we are sorry for the times that we have got un angry with other people. Father God, I'm sorry. Father God, I'm sorry. Then we point away from ourselves. We are sorry for the times that we have blamed other people when it was us that had done something wrong. Father God, I'm sorry. Father God, I'm sorry. And putting a hand over your mouth. We are sorry for the unkind words we have spoken which have hurt other people. Father God, I'm sorry. Father God, I'm sorry. And so receiving the perfect Heavenly Father's forgiveness, let us hold our hands out to receive his forgiveness. Thank you, Father God, that you love us and forgive us when we get things wrong. Amen. So knowing that we are forgiven by our perfect Heavenly Father, that everything is good between us, let us praise God in the words of the next song. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He is higher than the 
skyscraper He's deeper than a submarine He's wider than the universe And beyond my wildest dreams And he's known me and he's loved me Since before the world began How wonderful to be a part Of God's amazing plan Our God is a great God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hand. He's higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the how wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands Our God is a great big God our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands 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 Jesus taught everyone about God's love all kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. So Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, Um, excuse me? I want my share of your estate now, before you die. Okay. So his father agreed and gave his son his inheritance. A woohoo! A few days later, this younger son packed all his belongings. See ya! And moved to a distant land. And there he wasted all his money in wild living. Huh? About the time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land. Aw, oh, man! And he began to starve. Hey, you! He convinced a local farmer to hire him. Thank you! And the man sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the food he was feeding the pigs looked good to him. But no one gave him anything. Finally, he said to himself, at home even the servants have food enough to spare, and here I'm dying of hunger. I know. I will go home to my father and apologize and ask him to take me on as a servant. So he returned home to his father. And while he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son. Sir! His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet and kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast, for this son of mine was dead and now has returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. All right, yeah! Meanwhile, the older son was in the fields working. When he returned home, he heard music and dancing in the house. Huh? Hey, you! 
and he asked one of the servants what was going on. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. Woohoo! All right! Party time! All right! Yahoo! The older brother was angry and wouldn't go in. His father came out and begged him. Oh, oh man! But he replied, all these years I've slaved for you and never once refused to do a single thing you told me to. And in all that time, you never gave me even one young goat for a feast with my friends. Yet when this son of yours comes back after wasting your money, you celebrate by giving him a great feast. His father said to him, Look, dear son, you have always stayed by me and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate this happy day. For your brother was dead and has come back to life. He was lost, but now he is found. Good morning, everyone, and happy Father's Day to all the amazing dads out there. I hope you've had a special morning and I hope you realise how special you are. So I've brought with me just a little bit of something this morning. And I wonder if you can recognise what it might be for. So first of all, I brought this. What is this? That's right, of course, it's a trophy. Would you receive this trophy if you've done something bad or if you've done something good? That's right, of course, it's a treat for someone who's done something good. Or it's a treat for a winner. So I wonder if... We know that's a treat for winners. I wonder if you've ever heard of the traffic light system at Skibble, where you can be on green when you're good, amber when you're misbehaving, it's like a bit of a warning, and then red is when you've ignored the warning and you're going to receive a punishment. Do you think it's something that you would get a medal for? If you got given a red card, do you think you would receive a medal for that red card? I don't either. I think it would be, it feels a bit silly to receive a treat for something that we do wrong. But it sort of happened today in our gospel story. Someone got what they did not deserve. You see, the son in the story asked his dad for all of his money, basically. But then what did he do with that money? Did he invest it in something amazing? Did he put it back into his dad's farm? No. He wasted it. He ran away and he wasted it. I wonder if you have ever disobeyed your parents or not listened to something that they've asked you to do or told you to do. Well, this guy actually did much worse. He pretty much abandoned his whole family. But eventually, eventually, the money and the fun times ran out. It doesn't always last. And then he realised that he had made some pretty massive mistakes. He thought that maybe he could make it and ignore his dad. But that didn't work out, did it? So finally he decided he's going to have to apologise and hope that maybe, just maybe, he could accept the punishment and hopefully live like a servant, because that's what he does when he comes to his father, doesn't he? He apologises and says, I don't deserve to be your son. Please let me live here like a servant. He didn't think his dad would let him back home as a son. But did you hear what happened? Not only did his dad rejoice when he saw his son returning home he even threw him a massive party the biggest celebration and gave him special presents he was just so happy to see his boy it was like he hadn't even done anything wrong and do you know this might seem so strange and so strange because it did to me the first time i heard it shouldn't we be disciplined when we do bad things but in a lot of ways we should but the good news of the Bible is that even though we do bad things, even though we sin, God lets us and wants us to still be a part of his family. And when Jesus is telling this story, he's helping us to understand that, that the Father's love is forever and it is eternal and it doesn't have conditions. 
this is called grace. We deserve the punishment that our sins have earned, but when we tell God we're sorry and let Jesus rule in our lives again, grace gives us positive rewards instead. God loves us so much that he wants to find us no matter where we where we are or how far we wander away or how far we stray. I don't know if you've heard the term before, but some people talk about it's like having an invisible bungee jump wrapped around you, strapped to you. No matter how far you bounce away, you still bounce back and you're still welcomed back. Nothing can get us so far away from God that he won't let us back in his arms. And he lets the death of Jesus cover the things that we do wrong. Jesus didn't do anything wrong. He didn't deserve to die. But he took the punishment for our bad things so that we could get the rewards of his goodness. That hardly seems fair, does it? But we can thank God that life is not always fair. Just like the father in this story, God celebrates over us when we come to him. Isn't that just amazing? And that's why I the prodigal son is one of my absolute favourite parables. We all make mistakes. We all do bad things. And because of that, we should deserve consequences. But when Jesus took our bad things on himself, it allowed God to take the punishment away from us and let us have heaven instead. So let's give uh, thanks for that and to give thanks for God's glory. So let's pray. And I want you, while we're praying actually, I want you to, I'm going to say a line and then I'm going to pause and I would love it if you could repeat the line that I've just said. So we'll start off, dear God, thank you for your grace. Thank you for forgiving our sins. We know we do bad things. But you still call us your kids. We love you. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thanks for sending Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. We pray together to God who is with us always. We pray for the church throughout the world that it may bring comfort and support to all those that are in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all people for who are out at sea, for work, for fun, or as refugees seeking a new place for safety, that God may watch over them and keep them safe from storms. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all people whose loved ones have died, who are sad, and who are afraid, that they may find the support and comfort that they need from others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish, family and friends, that we may be there for those who need our help, sharing God's love and comfort with each other. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of courage, Help us to be brave when things are difficult and be there for others who are facing hard times so they may know that they are not alone. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead not, us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so we've come to our time of the notices. And just to say that this is the second to last um, online 915 service. Next week will be the last one. And then thereafter, it's going to be 915 on site, whether in the car park if it's fine weather or in the building if it's raining. So next week is the last online service from thereafter, the beginning of July, 
we come back on site. On a Tuesday evening, we're thinking about living his story. How do we tell our God stories to others? 7.30 on Zoom, and the details are in the church update email. Next week, I'm not around. I am leading a course, and so um, if you need any help, please do contact the wardens. And if you send me an email or phone me, uh, just know that I won't be able to answer those until after the 28th of June. So birthdays. Last week it was Craig Giles and Ron Livesley's um, birthdays and this week it's Hilda Yen and George Williams. So have a great birthday both of you. And so we're going to join together and sing. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like, but I've heard the tender whispers of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. As we come to the end of our time together, may we know that God goes ahead of us into the week ahead. Let us know God's blessing on us. So God, the perfect Father, who first loved us and made us acceptable in his beloved Son, bless us. Amen. God, the Son who loved us and washes us from our sins with his own blood, bless us. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit, who sheds abroad the love of God in our hearts, bless us. Amen. And the blessing of the one true God, to whom all love and all glory for all time and for eternity, come down upon us and remain with us. Amen. 
So thank you for joining us this morning online. Take care. God bless and have a great week.